Guys, the son born in Kamala Mugumu, so I'm saying. In a number of instances, the Azaban Bangus are different things. And one of the things that has come out sharply these days, Uguti, what is my take on intercultural marriages, uh, where you will find a black man getting involved with a white person or an Indian person getting involved with a, a white or a black person or a colored person for that matter. Uh, and, and this is very interesting because it, uh, for a number of years uh, it, has, it has been very, it's either happening but in a private space or it has been not happening at all or there, there are people who still feel with him that we can't have these kind of uh, relationships or where where umlung as utandana no mundu or umunda tandana no mlung or ikalat or india and so forth and and it, it has been an issue so people are coming from different takes or dynamics over team there are issues of culture and obviously not even among ourselves as 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 people we have our diverse uh, culture we have our diverse spirituality there is so much that goes into that ah, but before we, we can come to that sometimes we don't even manage to attract uh, different people from different uh, racial groups because it's either uh, people they will say a hey, they will be stigmatized if if i try and approach a white person a white person who said no there is no way my my, my family would not accept that or if a white person would love to attract uh, a black person then she he she or she she or he will also face a lot of criticism from some the community so th th there's so much i think these are the things that we need to bring to the fore and see whether can we discuss them honestly as, as society, as people, so that we can then try and find some understanding. One, there is nothing that is saying to us we must marry one another. There, there is nothing that is saying that. But while uh, on the same token, there is nothing that is stopping us from marrying one another or having a relationship for that matter. Because when we look at us, we must not look at, look at us as people with different skin color. But we must look at, uh, at each other as people, as, as, as human beings, uh, more than looking at each other as people who are having different st 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 skin color. So it destiny to should not be determined by the mere fact that when I'm shopping I'm young, but it should be determined and driven by the mere fact that we have fallen in love with another human being. And I think it's where we should start from. And once we are able to make that determination, then we can be able to go in on deep now to issues of culture, to issues of religion, to issues of spirituality. Because we then, then have started from the right position where we are saying, this is another human being. I'm also a human being in my own right. And once we are able to have that uh, decent conversation and understanding, we get we can then move to to the next level uh, during our time now we have our kids going to the same school with different people surely once that they are mixed there they will fall in love with other people and when that happens and if we are not open-minded we might put limitations uh, to our kids and our children they might find themselves not being able to enjoy and explore uh, life in its totality because we will then say no you should not have done one you should not have done two but if we are able to be open-minded around these issues maybe we can even find similarities or common issues of interest for example you might say in my culture this is how we do things only to find out that even in their culture there is something that they do which is common which might be common uh, in the way that 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 we also do things, and and I'm simply saying, I'm I'm promoting that, uh, I'm promoting the debate around that space, uh, and then it should be up to people 
whether they fall in love with so and so or they don't fall in, fall in love with, with so and so. But in the, which is of interest is when there's willingness from people to learn from one another's culture. Because if you are not willing to learn something from my culture and you feel that everything that is happening in my culture uh, is either back, uh, backwards or, or taboo, then obviously you will even prevent yourself from being open-minded around things that, that we practice or do. Uh, I, I think it would be nice if, as people, we explore some of these avenues and, and see how we can best, you know, utilize them. Uh, and, and, and I believe this is the time we are living in the 21st century and there is more that we can achieve as, as people. And if, if we, can, we can then be able to as, uh, accept one another and treat each other as, as human beings, there, there's more that we, we can do. I'm a polygamist myself. Uh, all my wives are Zulu, are of a Zulu nation. And I've been challenged and asked by a number of people whether was that a criteria. And I told people that no, that was not a criteria. But if you are not exposed to other people, uh, you might not know whether you love them or you don't love them. So you only work around uh, what is before you and, and not only what is before you but by and be guided and driven by the fact that this is the person that we have fallen in love and you feel that this person can form part and parcel of your family in growing the family uh, for, for, for that matter. So I'm simply saying it does not mean uh, I would not have interest uh, to look to, to other people for that matter. But I'm not saying I'm going to look to other people. I'm simply saying uh, I was never driven or guided by the mere fact that uh, these are the only people that I should look at. But I was also guided by the mere fact that I fall in love with the people that, that I have. So I'm simply saying as, as people we need also to be open-minded. Maybe we can have the best relationships, uh, intercultural relationships, and we can and we can even conquer certain differences that we find ourselves in, and it might assist to bridge certain gaps and and unify uh, our people, our nation. Uh, because through marriages, remember, there's so much um, of 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 things that that can be achieved. And and in the morning, we go to the school. 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 We go to the school.